Hi everyone, in today's quick tips, I will show you how you can adjust the audio as well as use an automated function in Premiere Rush. The automated function is called AutoDuck and it is powered by Adobe's AI engine called Adobe Sensei. I've also created an entire course on Premiere Rush and this is published over at Udemy. I've left in the description box a free access code to this course, so definitely take advantage of the offer. Go ahead and enroll, and I'd love to have your feedback as well. So without further ado, let's get started on this quick tips video. I hope you will enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up and definitely leave a comment, and I hope you'll subscribe as well. Enjoy everyone. And click the second to last option, which is the audio. Tap on that once and this will open up the audio options. So let's have a look at our clips in the audio. Notice how on the right hand side with the audio you have three options. You've got basic, advanced and channel. So let's open up basic. By default you can adjust the clip volume. You can change the volume so whether you want it louder or lower. You can also mute it so if I check mute. Then now notice how it is grayed out. So when you press play, you only hear the music and you don't hear the beer bottles clinking. Let's have a look at a few more options. Let's look at advanced in here. Yeah, what Premiere Rush will do is it will assign the audio track. By default, it has assigned this one as other, but notice how you have this drop down menu where it says change type, there's voice, and then there's music, and then there's other. So channels in here, left and right, you can choose whether you want the sound to come out of both left and right. So if you go ahead and just check L, what happens is notice how you don't see the waveforms anymore, so there will be no sound coming out of the left channel. It will only come out of the right channel, and vice versa, but I'll turn that back on. Next, let's go ahead and explore something called auto duck. So auto ducking is a feature that is run by Adobe Sensei. Adobe Sensei is Adobe's artificial intelligence engine. Let me explain what this auto ducking functionality will do. If you have a look at our project that we've created here. We have certain clips that have audio and some that don't. This clip here has no audio. The second clip here of the people clinking their beer bottles, it does have audio. This third aerial footage, although it looks like it has audio, if you take a closer look, there's actually no waveforms here, so it's actually a clip with no audio. And then finally, the man cooking on the walk, there is audio there. And then what we've done is we've dropped in a soundtrack. So by default, if you press play, you will hear the noise level the same throughout the entire duration of the clip. So regardless of where there's other audio or whether it's an empty track, the music will just play at the same level. So what auto ducking does is it will go ahead and use the AI engine and listen out. So wherever it hears that there's audio, it will go ahead and duck the music against that. So pretty clever. Let me go ahead and demonstrate what this does. Before we do that, what we need to do is we need to assign the audio tracks, okay? So I'll show you what that means. So let's click on back to this one of them clicking the beer bottles. Hop over here to the right hand side to the audio menu. Open up advanced. Where it says the audio type is other, go ahead and change the type and assign it as voice. This last one in here, let's go ahead and change that to voice. Next, let's go ahead and click on our actual soundtrack in here. Let's go ahead and just expand this audio. So go over to the left hand side, click on this little icon here. Notice how we can see the waveforms. Let's go ahead and click on Auto Duck. As soon as we clicked on Auto Duck, we can visually see what is happening in this particular timeline. So notice in here, it will play at the normal sound rate. This clip here, I'm clinking the beer bottles, it's gone ahead and ducked the music here. Notice the dip in the music here. Those are keyframes which are automatically added. And then it come over to this clip where there's no audio, so the music will go ahead, go back to its normal noise level. And finally, when it comes to the end where this man is cooking, again, it will automatically duck the music here. So really clever and a really amazing tool, which I highly recommend you all have a go and experiment with. Go ahead and just press play.
So that is how you can utilize AutoDuck and Premiere Rush. Premiere Rush is actually free, so go ahead and download it from the App Store for your mobile device and also on your desktop. And what's even greater is if you're a Premiere Pro user, you can go ahead and open your projects from Premiere Rush inside of Premiere Pro. Enjoy everyone!